Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. You want to go ahead and introduce our guests on today's pod, Paige? Come on, Dad. Hi, uh, I'm Alan Jen. I'm Paige Dad's, Paige Jen's dad and uh, Chelsea's stepdad. <laughs> oh, stepdaddy. <laughs> stepdaddy. Stepdaddy. Well, you <laughs> recently updated your Instagram bio. What does it say? It says father of eight plus Chelsea Lynn equals nine. Oh, <laughs> that's special. That's very special. I feel very special. Thank you for doing that. Oh, I love you. Love you. I don't Thank think you even had a choice. I That's that's fine. I love it. You know? <laughs> adopted. Yeah. Hey, honey, he's adopted here, and I love it. So thank you for that, and thank oh, you for welcome, joining us on our podcast. Oh, thank you for having me, <laughs> and uh, and thank you for, you know, the way you treat me. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm serious. When we're together, <laughs> it's <laughs> like... <laughs> well, you're sweet. Like a Yeah, treat. you're just so sweet to me. You know, you got to be my daughter. <laughs> Alan, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you still have yeah. sex with your stepkids? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pass out. That's what <laughs> Pornhub is. <laughs> no, that, that's taboo. Because why don't we say what you said earlier? <laughs> well, I guess you haven't made Maggie your stepkid yet. Because no. <laughs> early, because earlier today he goes, I'm going to bang Maggie. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I, I apologize. I, uh, it was a. Did it you was, mean it? It was a. Bang it was just in jest, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just in jest. Just, 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 just. We're gonna. He's gonna test just, you out. See what your reaction is. Just a suggestion. Yeah. Just. To, <laughs> we'll see. Just, just I wait till you're the drunk. Water. No, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. my God, that <laughs> hey, honey's. Uh, Horny. I'm S- yeah. I'm sorry, honey. No, I'm um, changed. I'm he was joking. He's changed. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I do have a couple things I want to bring up with you, Alan. When's your birthday? It's coming a- up. April 8th. Oh, we mi- Oh, it's co- okay. Well, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Yeah. I don't know when this episode is going to air, but I don't know. It's, it'll be around your birthday. Belated. Yeah, but belated. Either okay. way. How old will you be? 77. Wowzers. He doesn't even look 77. No. no. How, how do you feel? I feel really great. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm my annual uh, VA... Uh, Physical is coming up April 20th. Do they stick their fingers in your butthole? Pardon me? Do they stick their fingers in your butthole? Ma'am? I don't let them. At the VA? But they they want to? They want to, yeah. Yeah. But I'd say, you know, just fill it on the outside. Yeah. Just look you at it. You need to go up in there. Right. Never mind. Yeah. And just look at it. I lost know? my virginity to this. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm at sorry. the VA? No, I'm no. just kidding. No, at oh, this doctor. I'm not going to mention his name. But uh, his fingers were so freaking big and and then and long, mm. and he had the gloves on, and he mm. stuck those things up, and it hurt so bad. Anyway, <laughs> he's just laughing. Dude, he's just <laughs> looking at Maggie's face, like looking at my dad. He stuck those fingers so. No, I know that don't feel good. I've been there. No, yeah, I've taken yeah. big well, shits that have tore my butthole. Yeah, ripped the walls. So I've been there. A um, couple questions I wanted to ask you directly that I thought about as we were getting ready to film this pod. Alan, do you know what a queef is? A queef? Isn't that kind of... Talking to my ear. Oh, a queef. Isn't that uh, like uh, when uh, the vagina goes... Yeah, you got it. Can you get a little clap or something? Yeah. <laughs> Maggie didn't know what a queef was. Oh, <laughs> Maggie thought a queef was when you fart and it rolls up your pussy. Oh. No, it comes out of the hole. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he knows that. Dang. He's I'm, been around. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, I've been around. Yeah. yeah. But I'm settled down now. You've settled down quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. My mom didn't know what a queef was. Wow. That's very m- interesting. Mm. Very. That's just common sense to me. You think everybody knows that. Well, mm. and I asked the kids. I said, do y'all know? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Huh? She hit stuff with her. <laughs> Dude, I well, they whoa, always talk. Well, Liv was in the back seat, and she was like, I queefed. And I go, do you know what that is? Yeah. She goes, it's when you fart and it rolls up. And I was like, oh. Oh. She thought it, too. Ooh. Hey, you caught her early. But she's a child. Yeah. Children think weird <laughs> things. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't want her at school saying, oh, yeah. I just queefed. Yeah. 
Wow. Okay, one more question, Alan. Have you ever teabagged? Teabagged? Do you know what that is? Uh, I haven't heard the tea. We're not bag. talking about like ginger tea. What is We're that? not talking about green tea, Lipton. <laughs> We're talking about teabagging is when you take your ball sack and you teabag it on a lady's like forehead or face. Have Almost you ever... like you're dipping it in your water. But you dip it. But <laughs> yeah, it's I... your balls on the face. I never have. It's like yeah. that's never crossed my mind. Right. Well, now it will probably. Yeah. And you got to do it now. You know, if you ever get the opportunity, just teabag. Well, yeah, I will. But uh, now I, uh, if I reserved all uh, my sexual activities until I find the right woman again. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. You really? were just trying to fuck Maggie, though. Uh, no, that, that, we, I, was, you know, I just wanted to get a laugh on her. Yeah, on and, a, you and you did. And you did. Paige and Jerry yeah. and Brett when we were at home. It was great. This group is all about laughing and teasing and joking. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, it's, well look at Maggie, you know. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, he went like, like this. Well, look at Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> and I, well, you know, I didn't... Say anything about Beth, but that it applies to her too. Right, right. Yeah, both of you. Both. <laughs> both, both at the same all time. Of, yeah. All in the family. Yeah. Both of you. No, yeah, just, but I'm changed now. Yeah, you're changed. He's going to lick your sister's <laughs> pussy. Stop. Oh. Go to, get over there and lick your sister's pussy. Well, that's great. You're try, Are you trying to find that special woman to settle down with? Yes, I am. Yeah. And it's, it's an adventure because yeah. it's like, um, Basically, I was told not to find a woman until I went to Vietnam. I'm going to Vietnam in August. Mm-hmm. On, the, on vacation, right? To visit family? And yes, okay. to visit family. We're trying and to I'm, hop And on I'm that hoping plane. you and you and Paige. We'd like oh, to go. Yeah. We're going to try to plan okay. to go. Vietnam. Yeah. Cool. Vietnam. Vietnam. Uh, yeah. So you're waiting to, to find a lady there? Or when you get back? I might find one there. Yeah. You never know. He wants to s- snuggle. Yeah. So are you on the dating apps, the dating websites, or no? You're no, just no. raw dogging all this. No, I just, uh, I, I like to, well, you know, when I uh, meet women, I could look in their eyes and say, hey, you're for me. So, you know, the, this dating stuff. Yeah. That's, I've done it before and I've way, way in the past. It's that's either it. really sweet or really creepy. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're for me. Hey. <laughs> I I can see in your eyes and you're, you're for, for me. me. <laughs> That's either me. really sweet or, or some red flags there, Alan. Or you know, I'm looking yeah. for a mate. Yeah, you know, but very Teddy, my, very Ted Bundy. You know, I have I have a uh, you know a lot of tragic you know yeah. like my mate to be uh, passed away over a little over a year ago. Yeah. So you're still you're still you know emotionally not ready maybe. Or are you ready? I'm ready. You're oh, okay. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. Would you ever get married again? I, I had plans on getting married. Yeah. I get, you know, and married. And okay. Then, uh, yeah. At 77, though? 77, yes. Number. Yeah, he's he's wanting to sign that paper. I don't know about a step well, mommy right now. Well, you okay. know, I look at it this way. Uh, have you ever heard of Methuselah? Yeah, with the hair, yeah. with the worms. Yeah, he, that's uh. That's Medusa. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Methuselah. Oh, okay. Was the oldest man ever to live? You know? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Nine sixty nine, and he he had uh, Lamech when he was two hundred sixty two. So you know, there's still time for me. You're just getting started, Alan. <laughs> I know. You're just getting started with life, my yeah, man. Thank you. God bless. Yeah, for real. He told me it's last night, uh, well, Jerry said, Dad, what porn do you watch? And he said, oh, I like uh, Asian porn. Well, because you are Asian. <laughs> you think that's why? I like Asian porn, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's the most popular porn on the oh. internet, porn on the internet, they say. Oh, I didn't know that. So there must be a lot of dudes out there that want Asians. Yeah. I think that's common. Everyone yeah. loves the... Everybody loves it. <laughs> loves an Asian. Yeah, big time. Pacific Rim job. Yeah. What would you say about a rim job? Pacific. Pacific Rim job. Oh, never heard that. <laughs> and you yeah. and you guys, uh, we only have a certain amount of headsets in the uh, studio today. So Alan has taken over Brett's headset. So Brett does not have a headset. So when you do your lean forward segment, 
we're going to have to tell you when to start and stop. And also, uh, my dad took Maggie's mic, so then Brett <laughs> and Maggie are sharing a mic. That's why we can't wait for the big studio. We'll have we'll have room space. We'll have extra equipment. Mm-hmm. Like we'll we'll be decked out. Yeah, just we kind of just time. had to like throw them in here. Like I'm shoved in this corner right now. I keep hitting my head on the, yeah on this wood. Well, we could have waited till our new studio, but yeah. Alan's in town. We got to have him on the pod. Yeah, we're not waiting for shit. Oh, thank you. Oh no, you're on the pod. People love the rock fuckers. Love you, Alan. Oh, I love them. I know you do. And everyone keeps asking if you're going to be on Tammy's pontoon party. The cruise? Oh, yeah. You're coming. Naturally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Brett, can we get that sound bite? <laughs> Brett is high as fuck just staring yeah. at you. Dude, dude he's, he's staring at the ceiling, on. dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking. When I, I was lost. Even, af- even after you called him out, I looked over late and he was still looking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I see when I look over. He's just. <laughs> um, yes. yes. So oh. thank you for coming on the cruise. It's oh, be heck. Blast. I wouldn't miss that for anything. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's, it's March gonna... of next year. Yes. The, we have a exact date yet or no? Yes. March I'm... 22nd through the 25th. Yep. yep. Oh, okay. Cool. Ports out of Miami to the Bahamas. We are going to party. Yes, we are. So get ready. Oh, Is that going to be gambling? Too. Yes, there's a casino on board. Oh, cool. And what if you find the love of your life on the cruise? On a Wouldn't pontoon. Wouldn't that be nice? Where'd you meet? <laughs> Tammy's pontoon Tammy's party. Tammy's pontoon. You should have little weddings there. Well, I don't want to announce anything yet, but we're thinking about Tammy, like, renewing vows. So... All of the activities on board are going to be included in the price. So, like, the stand-up shows won't cost extra. Tyler Booth won't cost extra. Mini Kiss won't cost extra. Bingo and all of the activities we're doing won't cost extra. We are thinking about adding a package, and this will be the only thing that costs extra, where Tammy um, marries people on the boat. Mm -hmm. Marries people, renews vows, like we'll do. And please don't hold me to this. We are only going to do it if there's time. But I will let you guys know if we decide to do it um, plenty of time in advance. And, yeah, so that's going to be fun. I might have to step into renewing people, too. Because, well, not even for the pontoon, just in life. Because a ministry. That'd be great. You'd be great at that. Yep. I need a ministry for uh, taxes and stuff. Taxes. (laughs) Oh, you're right. Yeah, I can marry marry people on this cruise. (coughs) Hell, yeah. God, I'll that's funny. My dad cruise. marrying people. He really does marry people. Gosh, that's amazing. Oh, God, that's going to be the number one requested that's on the crew. We want Alan to marry us. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Okay. okay. Alan, you watch the podcast. You listen to the podcast. Yes. But I don't think you've ever played trivia with us. Do you want to play? Might as well. <laughs> You're here, you know. Mm-hmm. Hit it. Get trivy, get trivy, y'all. Uh, get trivy, get trivy, y'all. Oh, fuck me. Get trivy, get trivy, y'all. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And you get to, yes. <laughs> and you get to spin as well. Okay. okay but cool. let's see here. I will go first. Everybody ready? Why does Chelsea get to go first? Animals, yellow. <laughs> Chelsea An- goes first every time it spins the wheel. And James doesn't. Eric Burton. Oh, okay. 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 Animals, yellow. Here we go. Question number one of trivia. Ready? Who, wait, okay. Eric Burton? Who's that? Your dad's tripping. Here we go. Oh, okay. okay. In what year was Tilly and Amelia born? Amelia was uh, 2013. Uh, 12. Hold on, don't guess. 2000. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, it is uh, 14. 14. Yeah. I thought it was 13. I, don't I even, know. I don't yeah. even know when my daughter was born. How sweet is that? Okay. Alan, you oh. want to hit this shit? My spin? Hit it. No, you got to hit it. Oh. Rail that shit. You got to do it. Yeah, be uh, say Jack. Read it, Ash. TV. Red. TV. Red. <laughs> Here we go. TV, red. Question number two of trivial. Um, what is the name of Negan's bat on The Walking Dead? I've never seen that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Negan's bat? I've hmm. never seen it. Yeah. 
Let's just that? say. Have you ever seen Walking Dead? Batman? No, I've never watched it. We so don't know. I wouldn't have the slightest. No. I am Batman. Lucille. Yeah. Mm, interesting. That I would have known. Okay, yeah. here I go. Here I go. History purple. purple. History, History purple. Purple. Um, is that a light purple? Brett, yes, it's light purple. Okay. <laughs> wow, you guys are really gonna get this one. For what sure. Try me. Try me. What ah. state seceded from uh, Virginia in 1863? Huh? Fucking West try, Virginia. Just try what? What? Oh. Yeah. Oh. What state seceded from Virginia in 1863? She got it. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah you got it. West Virginia. But that's oh, still, I didn't hear Brett's it. Brett's still oh, reading. Oh, sorry. I'm Tennessee. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'll speak up. Brett, I Tennessee. I got to speak up. You got to pay attention and you got to do better. Hey, and I Dad, couldn't hear. I already got it right. Okay. Sorry. Wow, this episode is really chaotic. Everybody ready for the next wow. one? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> History. Here we are. History, light purple. In what year was Barack Obama elected as president of the U.S.? 2008? Yes. <laughs> I only know that because <clears throat> it was the year I graduated college, I think. Something like that. 2008, 2009. Yeah. So, yeah, you got that. Okay. Nice. Nice. Cool. Nice. Thank you. Your nice, turn, my man. Nice, nice. Spin weed, that shit. Weed, doing coke and drinking beer. Drinking beer, beer, beer. What is it? Pop culture. Pop culture. Pop culture. Here we go. Who was the first winner of the Masked Singer? Damn. Let, oh, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Sade. Oh, is that Sean King? Or no, T Pain. Sade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. All right, your yeah. turn. Me? Me? Yep. Early 2000s Early. comedy films. <laughs> Early 2000s comedy films. Why laugh before every yeah, question? Come Brett? on, dude. You're Who that high. Who starred alongside Adam Sandler in the movie Anger Management? Aniston. <laughs> oh, no? Why laugh when we answer, Brett? Come on. <laughs> just, she just said, it's just funny. To, that's the, I know she knows nothing about it, but it says Aniston. <laughs> Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> Anger Management. God, okay. I, can, I can barely remember that movie. Come on, Dad. You you don't know this? But, uh, I, <laughs> I, 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 I kind of I spaced that off. I never saw it. I never saw that program or whatever it was. That program. <laughs> it's uh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's the mask, Th- whatever. This episode is <laughs> all over the place. How about Toro? <laughs> right. I'm just messing. All right. Hmm? Well, let's move on to the next segment there. Okay, where am I? Okay. Who wants better sex? If you just thought to yourself, I do. Well, that's great because you are in the right spot. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off almost any one item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. And Adam and Eve care about your privacy. So if you don't want family members or your kids or just anyone around to know that you have bought a dildo, a clit sucker, a anal bead, a cock ring, lube, then Adam and Eve will offer discreet shipping for you. We are all about doing better here on the Viral Podcast. So bring pleasure and more satisfaction into your bedroom today. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or just anything you desire. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's VIRAL. V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to the podcast, so be sure to use this code VIRAL to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code VIRAL. Oh, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and do two truths and a lie? Two truths, one lie. The mm. funny thing is, the podcast is already chaotic, and we don't even know how to still play this game, and it's the most chaotic segment we have, so let's dive right let's in. get into it. You want to go first? Oh, sure. 
No, go. no, you go okay. first. I'll go first. You ready? Yeah. I list off two truths and one lie. Paige has to guess what the lie is. Oh, fuck. Here we go. And you can guess too. I hate Hershey's chocolate syrup. Number two. I was born in Idabel, Oklahoma. Number three. I've never been to the state of Maine. Which one is the lie? Oh, these were some good ones. Thank dude. you. Oh, Thank this you. one's really got me thinking. Which one's the lie you said? Yeah. Born, being born in, well, I know where she was born. I, huh? Oh, damn. Wait, what? What, sir? What was the What was the answer again? The I have you have to guess the answer. You have to guess her lie. So my I I hate Hershey's chocolate syrup. I was born in Idabel, Oklahoma. I've never been to the state of Maine. Which one am I lying about? Okay, I'm just going to fucking say that you've never been to the state of Maine. I don't fucking know. Okay. I was going to say the same thing. Okay. No, wait. Where was I born, Alan? In Oklahoma. But where? Do you know? Were you born in Tulsa? I don't know. They were born. Maggie was born in Idabel. I was born in Ardmore. Or Ardmore. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, Fuck. so you lied on that. <laughs> I lied. You lied about being old. Damn. Old, old. I'd been you, right the first time. You almost got me. You yeah, almost got me. He, yeah. Just always go he with your gut. Strong, yeah, dad, yeah. go with that gut. Mm-hmm. Always go with your gut. Fuck. Those ones were hard. That's a hard one. Oh, that was so hard. All right. Your turn. Okay. Oh, all right. I've been to two Justin Bieber concerts. I've ate a fish eyeball, and I've peed in a Ziploc bag for a friend. I know you've been to at least one Justin Bieber concert. Two, I don't know. You have eaten a fish eyeball. Peed in a bag for a friend is something that I've never heard you brought uh, bring up, but it sounds like something you would do. <sighs> I'm going to say, I think you're trying to trick me with the Justin Bieber. Um... Oh, gosh. I'm going to say you've never been to two Justin Bieber concerts. Only one is the lie. You fucking whore. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Daddy. (laughs) Fuck you. Daddy. Oh, my gosh, dude. You really got to You really got to dissect these. I know. Think about because because the you I mean, you try to get somebody you've been to Justin Bieber. I knew that. But two. I know. I you, knew that would. I knew that would kind of. You tried I, to trick I me. I couldn't quite think of another lie. I'm gonna start thinking about them all throughout the week. Okay. All right. So I can get your ass again. Yeah. Because okay. you've got my ass mm-hmm. two times in a row, and that's rare. Well, try me. Okay. I'm gonna try you. And uh, we've been doing a lot of talking. We so, have. Um, Brett, it's your time. P- play your song. There you go. Lean forward. forward yep okay i want everybody to reach as high as they can wherever you're at okay reach as high as you can now reach higher see how you did that how you reached a little higher you know so we can always no matter how high you know you think you can go um we can you can always you know that little bit extra it's there you know go get it Kind of like, uh, <laughs> kind of like, uh, do you guys know what temperature water boils at? 212. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what it does at, uh, 211? Nothing. So that one little extra, just that reaching, you know, it'll, just it'll make water boil. Okay. Uh, lobsters, you know, do you know that they live a pretty long time? They don't get cancer, you know. Um, the only thing that really kills them are predators. And the reason they get so big is because they Brett, shed their dad, dad, get, Time's, time's up. up. Lean, lean back. back. Lean back. Lay back. All right. That was a good one, Brett. Thank you. That Very uh, inspirational. Yeah. yeah, yeah and thank informidable. You, yeah. Keep reaching higher. And, you you know, you need to take your own advice. Yeah, because that was a reach. <laughs> no, I, I, that's just. You yeah. were reaching. Because, Brett, you, you could always do better. Yeah, I, I just used to do that stuff, you know, back when I. 
Remember they'd put those bracelets on you at the mall and be like, all right, bend over and touch your toes. And then. Uh Huh? Yeah. (laughs) You don't remember those? (laughs) All right, and pull down your pants, too, while you're at it. Wait, what? No, remember they would do that? They've no. never put those bracelets on you, those balance bracelets and shit. And at they're like, the mall? okay, try this. And then you try it. And then, uh, th- and then they say, do it again. And then you can do it better because you just kind of loosened up. And they're, they're like, see, buy that bracelet. It'll it, make you more flexible. Your, yeah. You know. No, I've, that's never happened to me. And they got, I got me. Got. They yeah. got you. Oh, they got everyone. Everyone was wearing these and telling people about them. Put it on. Try it. Damn, never, yeah, never. That's a scheme. You did you do that, Maggie? Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. We didn't have that. It was an NPC test. Oh my gosh! Look at Gary. Uh-huh. Get a shot of Gary Biffy. Oh look my. at Mama's baby. You know what? I, I don't need these. They're kind of bugging me. Well, okay. Oh. We're about to play uh, the calls. calls. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to hear them now. Dad, Dad, you don't hear Dad. It now. Hey, he, he don't have to listen to the calls. The calls are coming. Yeah, the yeah. calls yeah. are coming. Yeah. Time to right sit now. down, Dad. Yeah, you gotta okay. sit down. Okay. You all right? Please excuse. Please please excuse the interruption. Hey man, we're just getting started. He's ready to get the hell out of here. (laughs) (laughs) He whipped off those headphones. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, hey, just so we don't have to keep Alan waiting any longer, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, honey, messy eater here. So I have been known to be the messy eater of my group of friends. I don't know if it's poor table manners or just poor eating habits, but burger, burrito, all over the place, toast, I mean, nothing's safe. I have also been known to eat off other people's plates. And I don't mean like while they're eating, I just take my fork and like dig into their food, but If they give the universal signals of, I'm done, you know, they put their plate or their fork on their plate, push their plate away, napkin up, you know, sit back as if they're done, I assume it's free game to eat. So if there's some food left on their plate that I want to try, I go to eat it. And some people think that's weird or rude or gross if I don't ask, but I think it's rude to leave food on your plate and not offer it to the rest of the table and just let it go to waste. So I just want to know what your opinions on were, what your opinions were for that, and if you are the same way. Anyways, thank you, honeys. Oh, 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 yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, this is a good, a good question. Uh-huh. I some people man this is divided some people are like don't eat off my plate don't like they're very weird about that and yes. I get that we um I'm not weird about if I'm at dinner with you guys and y'all are like oh can I try that I'm like uh, you know absolutely or even if you come over and try we all, I don't care we all dig in yeah but you still ask though yeah you'll be like hey can I have a yeah I, or I'll be like hey you got to try this yes thing. um now when somebody's done with their meal yeah, I think that's gay. Greg, if we go out to Greg, and, and when we're done, he's looking at what he wants from it. He's like, uh, he he's goes, a passing disposal. Your, yeah. I don't think there's anything. We're, now, if you're out, like, at a business meeting with a coworker, <laughs> yeah, that's probably a little weird. <laughs> <It> don't. <laughs> I, I it just made me fucking spit. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah, read the room for sure. Yes. But if it's family, fr- close friends, whatever, oh, I think it's okay. The thing is, too, though, uh, some people like to take home their leftovers. Yeah. So maybe, you know, what if you were really banking on that yeah. fucking last bit of pasta you had for when you get high? True. That midnight snack. Ooh, Cheesecake Factory sounds so good right I now. I know. That's what I was But saying. she says she she read all the universal signs. So when they are done, done, they're not taking it. Like I put think the it, napkin on the plate? I think it's fine. I think people just need to chill. People get so mad about the weirdest shit like chill out let her have let her eat you know let her finish your beans off who cares if when i'm done with my food i personally say hey you do and if i don't want to bring it home i say does anybody want the rest of this you do and i don't want it wasted so bad that i'll be like please just try it yeah to yeah they're like i'm sick i can't eat anymore yeah alan do you eat off people's plates if you want to try something is that weird to I, you i never have actually Really? I, I, but Jerry eats off mine all the time. Yeah. And you don't care. 
no, I don't care because it's like I can't finish it. So yeah, and he goes, I'm not letting that go to waste. Won't yeah, it could be a germ thing too. People are worried about that. I don't know. I th- I don't think it's weird, but I think it's an individual's choice. Like if you, re- you're right. Read the room. If you're in a, if you're at dinner with somebody who doesn't like it, just don't do it. Yeah, we gotta go to Cheesecake Factory soon. Great Some advice. people really are very Great particular. Advice. You know, yeah. even to the point where they'll have all their food just not touching or, yes. you know. Yes. But to, uh, exp- uh, you know, uh, expand on her uh, question, she said she was a messy eater. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. are you married? <laughs> just kidding. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Are, are you hoping it's she would eat your ass? Yeah. <laughs> I, so, no, it's, uh, well, it's, you know. <laughs> Do you want Maybe. your ass eaten or what? My last relationship, she just gobbles the food down. I loved her for it because she cleans everything up. And, yeah. And she, then she'd wait for me to finish because, you know. Yeah. That was a turn on to you? It was for some reason. Huh. No, that's cool. I just loved it because she just gobbled her food down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that's is good cool. because some girls on dates are afraid to yeah. take bites. Yeah. They're all. Mm-hmm. Very Would true. you just dig in on a rib, Chelsea? No, I would dig in on a Wings. Beef, big beef rib, like nothing. You'll yeah. see videos. Yeah, don't go on a date and eat these foods. That's what I'm ordering. Okay? <laughs> I will eat those foods. Wow. Great question, honeys. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. We're ready for that next question. Here we go. Hey, honeys. Happy ending here. So it was my birthday, and I got a gift card to this massage place because I said I didn't like my girlfriend giving me massages because it's like rub for 30 seconds, be good. No, I wanted to feel relaxed, so I wanted a whole ass massage. So my sister got me a gift card to this massage place that I live close by. So I was looking up reviews, and it says on the reviews, some guys commented like, wink, wink, they do that here. So I'm assuming happy ending. So... I'm a girl. I'm going, assuming I'm just going to get my back massage, nothing else. Well, I just wanted to tell y'all because I don't want to tell my girlfriend, but I got a happy ending. I got my clit rubbed. So just wanted to tell somebody out in the world that it could not get back to my girlfriend, too. Also, I was thinking about, I was listening to a few episodes, probably about episode like. 15-ish, how Paige said Brett has a pussy lips butthole. And then I was laughing, thinking about how Paige also said he used, like, badges still body wash, Summer's Eve body wash. So maybe that's why he has pussy lips butthole. Anyway, love you, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Wow. You got a happy ending. How does that go about? Are you just saying ru- extra rub or... I don't know. Here's, I actually have a story. We were in Florida a few weeks ago doing shows. And I had looked up, there's like this website, I don't even know where it is, massage.com, where you can go and find masseuses to either go to or have them come to you. And I wanted a massage in Florida, so I, this lady had great reviews. I always have shit going on with massage, like massage ladies. Good lady had great reviews, all this stuff. So I, you know, send her a text. Hey, you know, we're talking about her coming over for massage. She's like, absolutely. She was like, what type of massage are you wanting? Um, 60 minute, 90 minute, deep tissue or tantric? And I go, I didn't know what that was. And I go, oh. Is it tantric? Tan- tantric, Yeah. Taint trick. Taint trick. I was like, is it a taint trick? Hmm. And I go, uh, I go, I don't know what taint trick is, but just a regular, just a regular full body. And she was like, okay. And then I was telling Libby about it. And Libby goes, taint trick, that's happy ending. And I was like, what? Whoa. She goes, that's happy ending. She goes, I've always wanted a happy ending massage. Tell her I want one. And I go, okay. So I text her back. I was like, hey. My friend wants one of the tantric. If you're if you're coming over here, uh, she's wanting. A, she's if wanting. If you can squeeze it in, yeah. And then she wrote back. She was sorry. I don't do females. Oh, just letting men nut. I know. So I guess wow. ladies. And that semen. Libby do got, better. Yeah, Libby got mad. She was like, "See, I can't find any massage therapist to give me 
a clit rub at the end. Well, she needs to go where this girl went. Yeah. Because how are they? They just must know. They know where the bean is. I Oh, yeah. And I don't know if you ask for it or if they maybe at the end, like, ask you and you say yes or no. I don't know. I've never been in that situation. Because a lot of girls can't come with their guy. Yeah. For years. And then a masseuse can do it in one. Just by doing this. In one sit. (laughs) I know. I wonder what they do. I have no idea. Have you ever had a happy ending, Dad? (laughs) No, no, Mel. But, uh. Uh, a female, with a female, a massage. Yeah. You went to you went to go get a massage, and yes. you ended up busting a nut. Oh, naturally. Yeah. Right. <laughs> naturally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. you know. How was it? The truth is always better than. To, oh, yeah. absolutely. Telling a lie. Sure. That's what we're all about, Alan. Yeah, is telling the so truth more than <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sure. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> that's great. Did, now, did did you go in and say, hey? I would like to bust a nut at the end, or you don't say anything, and they kind of ask you. Well, they, they, when you when you go in, they go, you know. Mm. Okay, they do that, <laughs> yeah. and then you go. Mm. I go mm. <laughs> but I, those those are days of past. <laughs> they go, mm. and you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, I that haven't make... done that for years. Okay, makes sense. Get back to it. Yeah, go 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 yep. down and get your massage. Well, <laughs> no, I'm going to. Uh, oh, you're trying to find abs- the love of abs- your life. Abstain yes. until okay. I fall in love. Okay. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but what? Hey, what if you go get a massage and the massage is so good and the lady's so nice that you fall in love right and, there on the massage yeah, table and she's rubbing that inner thigh? Then I'll have to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I wonder if they try to get you, though, for real, just massaging around your... I don't know. ...crotch and stuff. I I have no idea how this works. Well, well when they throw the oil on you, you know... You, you, Game over. Get, get. <laughs> yeah. Greg and I used to fuck when we went to go get massages. We would go to this, the foot spa. Before? Before what? Or after. Oh, a- oh, oh after. <laughs> We'd, I was like, before, before. what? <laughs> <laughs> Foot massages BC. <laughs> I before know. Christ. <laughs> BC before COVID. Before F. Um, uh, no, we used to go to the foot the foot massage place that we always went to in Escondido, and we'd always ask for the couples massage. We'd be in the same room, and then every freaking time we were done with our massages, wouldn't you know it? Greg had a boner, a raging boner. Oh come on, baby, please! And I'm like, they're waiting on us outside. Oh, be real quick. And sure enough, fucking three pumps. And that motherfucker is nothing. And we're walking, I'm walking out with nut in me, Ooh. walking down that hall, <laughs> trying not to let it slip. Oh. And he's, we used to do that every time, every time, it became a ritual. Every time Just go going get, home with nut? Yeah, after a massage. Mm. Yeah, so. Massage just makes you, Horny. it's part of the relaxation, you know, you gotta bust a nut. So. And they just deal with so many people, they just really know how to rub. You're right. They, they really, could trick you. They really know how to rub, so. So shout out to all masseuses. Yeah, whether you give a happy ending or not, you guys are really helping people out there relax. Those shout out to thumbs? you guys. How do they relax? You know their thumbs be hurting, be burning. Fuck. Oh, every time I get a massage, I feel horrible. Me too. I can't hardly enjoy it because I'm like, do her hands hurt? I know her hands are hurting. Rubbing my big ass body, her hands are burning. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have a hard back. You're uh, you have a shell almost like a turtle. That's cute. <laughs> you have the tightest fucking neck and back. <laughs> Damn, she oh. does, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our next product is a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG One because I have a hard time swallowing vitamins. So with the quick scoop of the AG1 powder and about 8 ounces of water, I can get that sucker down easy. And it has a vanilla taste. Tastes really good, and you can also mix it in with your smoothies. I really enjoy doing that too. And it just gives me the vitamins that I need for my everyday life. And the best part is, with just one scoop of AG1, 
You are absorbing over 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, adaptogens to help start your day right. This special blend of ingredients helps support your gut health. And you know, our shrimps are singing, so we need the support. It also helps with your nervous system, your energy levels, your immune system, recovery, focus, aging, and just all the things that you need in your daily life. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. It supports better sleep quality and recovery, supports mental clarity and alertness. It's also cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. I've tried to rub you one time when your back hurt or you had a fart or something, yeah, a bubble. You were trying to rub it out for me. And you were tight. Tight. It's weird because I am a large woman, but I'm not very flabby. Everything's very tight on me. So tight. Your legs, everything's tight. A rock tight. solid. Toit. Mm-hmm. Toit I'm, like l- that's good. why I always call myself like a linebacker. I'm big, but I'm very sturdy and solid and tight. Yeah, yeah it's very odd. So Very tight. Lord Jesus is getting hot in here. <laughs> Starting to sweat. All, All right. right. Thanks for calling. Yeah, Thanks for calling you. in, honeys. So I have a question. Would you rather drive a high mileage new car or a low mileage old car? Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Would we rather drive a high mileage new car or a low mileage old car? That's a really great question. I'm picking the old car. Because yeah. new cars suck anyway. Every time, dude, every, there's always shit wrong with new cars. The old car is going to actually last longer. The old car is going to be there for you. It's going to last. Big time. When you what about it. you? Well, I wanted, you know, my best friend back in Roosevelt, he has a Markdown Motors. His name's Wade and his wife. Hey, Dad, uh, no free clout. <laughs> oh, pardon me? <laughs> no ads from from. Oh, sorry. From motor. I'm, just kid- I'm just kidding. Anyway, anyway. No self-promotion. <laughs> and his number. He he has two cars that I really want. And uh, one's a, a 65 Mustang convertible that he totally went through. And, yeah, I know. What color? It's kind of a gold. Oh. Co- kind of a gold color. It's, it's really awesome. And that, so I wanted that, and that's a '65, everything rebuilt, so brand new. And then he just got in a, I think a '06 Cadillac, with everything, and well, you know it's it looks modern. Couldn't yeah. even tell that it's yeah. an '06, and it only had eleven thousand miles on it. Alan, so would you I take want it? That so bad, and it's all wheel drive. You need that. Hey, an '06 Cadillac. Is a seventy-seven-year-old man's car. Go get that shit. Oh yeah, I I think he kept it for himself. Oh dang! <laughs> and it's low miles. Eleven thousand miles. You got it. Was, it has been parked in her garage, and she just passed away recently. That's what you need. What do you drive now? Pardon me. What do you drive now? I drive a uh, Nissan Rogue. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, and my platinum pickup F F one fifty, but I don't drive the. I only tow things with my F-150. Yeah. Man, I'm wanting a new car, but I'm like, should I just wait till Big Mama gets out here and just keep the Suburban and just drive, you know, like. Yeah, new cars kind of scare me. I know. You know, and all the electric, they're just all. hmm, Oh, Beth's car's been in the shop for a month, brand new car. Well over a month. Damn. I just don't know about them, and 
Uh, I don't know. And Greg's wanting to buy a new a new old car. It's like mm. a it's like a only seventy made in. Greg I don't know. wants a new car every I know. fucking month. I know. And I said, baby, you got to calm down. And this car yeah, is a piece of shit. Storage. It's in someone's. It's in someone's like yard. It's like oh, it, it doesn't even run. It looks so old, and they're wanting thirty thousand dollars for it. And I go, well, how much is it going to cost you to get done up, like done and ready? Yeah, fixed up. He's like, oh, probably a hundred thousand. I go, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> He goes, but that'll take years. That's not all at once. That'll be throughout years. He always has an excuse. I know. Trust me, I know. Are you guys able to live edit over there while holding Gary and playing with Gary? Maggie and Beth, all I, huh? Oh, Oh, all I I see is Maggie and Beth over there freaking out about Gary. Taking pictures. I was freaking out about him earlier, just sitting over there sleeping in Maggie's arms. Freaking out. So cute. So, Dad, you'd basically take the older older car. I would take the older car. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. I don't like well new cars. They break down too fast. Exactly. Those motherfuckers. New, new cars don't excite me. They're they're all looking the same. I I've only had one brand new car in my entire life, and my whole life I was like, oh, I can't wait to have a brand new. You know, I thought it was gonna be so exciting. I got it, and I was like, mm, this is not what I thought. I, I wasn't excited like I thought it would be. The 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. 2018 Grand Jeep Cherokee. Cherokee. I still got it, baby. Yeah. So anyway, okay. great little call. I love those little questions where, where you guys ask random shit. I love it. Thank you for calling in, honey. Love you here. Hey, honey. School counselor here. My best friend listens to your show every week, and she told me she secretly hopes she hears my voice uh, when she listens, and so I thought I'd make her dreams come true. But question for you, have you ever had a teacher or a counselor who affected your life? As a counselor, I try to... Uh, make a difference in my students' lives every day. So just wondering if you had that experience. Love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Yeah. Thank thank you for calling in. Thank you both for the support. That's so uh, sweet that she I thinks know. about making an impact. The parents probably f- love her. Dude, our school counselor sucked ass. She was just not good, <sighs> not there for you. Oh, but Maggie and Beth are like, like you got to understand the school we came from. I don't feel like we came from a regular school. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Which uh, years was this counselor? Uh, she was there my whole all through junior high and high school. An older lady or older lady? She um, just we went to a school that was so small, and I think the people that worked there were just people around town. Just they, found them that they could get to work Literally. there. <laughs> I, you know, yes. not everybody. Now I was actually thinking I was talking to Lola a couple of days ago about um, teachers and stuff. She's doesn't like her math teacher. There's a whole thing. And I was telling her, I go, I, th- I thought, man, I don't, you know how people say, oh, fifth grade, Miss Thompson. I still think about her. She changed mm-hmm. my life. I never had that. I can't remember one not teacher. one year? Not from elementary. I had two teachers in high school that were freaking amazing. Loved them to death. I still love them. And they actually came to one of my stand-up shows. Oh. And it meant the world to me. Other than those two, especially in elementary, I don't, I don't remember having great, a uh, one person that was just like stuck out. Mm-mm. I had a couple. Really? Yeah, they were just sweet. Yeah, and and made Alan, you feel good well, going to school. I, I taught guess. high school, so you uh, were a teacher. Yeah. yeah, that'd be a good question to my students. Yeah. Well, you know, to if you know my Facebook, mm-hmm. and I still love them. You know, and I'm rev- invited to all their whatever they have. And I love the kid. And they, we go to reunions. They say, that, you know, when we leave, we love each other. And, that, I mean, they're like in their 50s now. Wow. And now uh, they're trying to get at him. So. Are they trying yeah. to bone you? Pardon me? Are they trying to bone you now? Yeah. Are they trying to have that, sexual intercourse? That I'm going to leave. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, you're going to plead the fifth on that one. Yeah, I'm pleading the fifth on okay. that one. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> did I. Did I ever have a teacher? Yes, I did. And, uh, but it's, she straightened my life out. Really? I was 11 years old, so what, fifth grade or something? And in those days, you know, we're talking like 50 something. Yeah. uh, That was, shoot, what, anyway, 59 or something like that? No. 
I was oh, in high school that's then. All right. Oh, elementary school, 55. We're not good with our numbers. Anyway, yeah. 1955. And in those days, everybody smoked. Yeah. And so I, I went to get a bathroom pass. <laughs> and I looked down at her purse, and this happened to be her cigarette pack. And, and it had a pack of matches stuck inside of it. So I stuck it in my pocket and I went to the bathroom. Well, it went up. <laughs> <laughs> Just sat there in the toilet? I, I'm in there having a good smoke. Next thing I know, wham, wham, wham. And, and she says, open this door. Because I was, sta- the, you know, I had one door that opened in that you go into. Uh-huh. And so I had my foot against the door, clamming it, you know. And then next thing I know, she out muscled me because, you know, she's a grown woman. And her hand reached in and grabbed me by the neck. Choked you out? True story. Uh, uh, and she grabbed me. And so she come and she, you know, and then she comes slamming in the door. Oh, sorry. And it comes slamming in the door. And then uh, she started pounding on me. I mean, pounding. Punching you in the face? Punching me in the face. Pounding on me. So I had to, re- I had to retaliate. And the, and you I punched her, her? She punched her. I retaliated and let her have one right in the in pussy. Where God, An uppercut oh, to yeah, the pussy. Where God hit her with the axe and boom, and and as she just went back, <laughs> she was an older lady too, and she just went back. Oh, and then I went out the other door. Boom! I was out of there, and I just ran home. I still had her cigarettes and her matches. So, so y'all were fucking fighting. So you yeah, straightened yeah. her out. Oh man, she beat the. Anyway, I... Well, I, teachers could do that back then. Yeah, I got her off me anyway, and then... So I walked home, and I was thinking, I better not, uh, I better not go, you know, home, because Mom would say, what's up? Yeah. So I went there, and we had these guava trees growing. Or it was around on an electrical uh, facility, and when there's guavas hanging there, and I sat there smoking cigarettes and... <laughs> Eating guava, guava until for hours. until three o'clock, and then I walked home. So I got home, and there was not even a call home or nothing. I got home, and you know, when you're eleven, you just blow things off anyway. And like forgot I, you just uppercutted your so, teacher so, in the so, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So so I got home. I got I got home, and mom said nothing. You know, eat dinner, everything's normal. You know, oh, just yeah. started screwing around with my friends again. I went to school the next day. Not one word, not one word was said to me. Is that good or bad? I, I know. <laughs> that, that, well, well the, th- the part was that where did I get those cigarettes? And what, they were so, her purse was wide open. And so I just like, she was right in the past, and I did this number, you know. <laughs> so she, <laughs> la, just la, acted, la. she just acted like she didn't beat the shit out of you the day before. Oh, yeah. I don't know which one it was. She, uh, you know. Wow. She pounded on me, dude. She got she had a pretty good right cry. Dude, she must have had some built up anger. Instead of being like, Alan, I know you took my cigarettes, come out. This bitch came in swinging. Oh yeah. Choking and swinging. Alan had Damn. Cla- he had collateral. On Shit. they both had collateral on each other. But yeah. back in the day you could just beat up well Oh literally teachers are still punching y- kids and yeah. whipping them. Yeah, we ha- we talked yeah. several episodes ago about sp- like spanking. We got spanked in high school, mm-hmm. but back in the fifties, oh gosh, you could apparently you could beat kids <laughs> up and just and let nothing happen. As long as you didn't report anything, you know. Yeah, it's like no, you weren't you weren't going to do that. I wasn't going to say no. anything. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I keep my mouth shut. Right. And she kept her mouth shut, and so everything just worked out fine. <laughs> what a story, dude. That's cool. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, yeah. thanks, Dad. It's, that was a cool story. It was just it has to do with uh, what did it have to do? The caller was uh, just we're just talking about teachers. Yeah. Oh, just, oh yeah, we're talking teachers about teachers. Had a good yeah. impact. Yeah. So she, did she change my life? Yeah, because uh, I didn't do it again until I was in the ninth grade. <laughs> so you had a you had about four years where you were good. Yeah, and then, and then, and then my Spanish teacher had the same setup. Her her cigarettes were in, it were down here for, and it, I kind of just. You yeah. did it again? Yeah. Oh. I, I took her cigarettes and then... Uh, Don't steal, but, Dad. Huh? Don't be a thief, Dad. I know. Well, you know, I learned. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> she didn't beat me up. But uh, we went on a uh, field trip to Alvera Street. It's, it's uh, 
in, in California, uh-huh. Southern Cal. It's like a real Mexican community, you know. So uh, she took she she taught Spanish, okay, and so she took our class down there. So <laughs> oh god, so, yeah. So we we're all down there, me and me you got and my, talking to the mic. Oh, sorry, me and me and my buddies. We went and found area, you know, and uh, we started. We lit it. We all started to lit up a cigarette, and we, so we were smoking. And then she'd come around the corner and caught us. God, and y'all she were goes, bad kids. She says, "Where'd you get those cigarettes from?" You're like your purse, and I bitch. Says, your your purse. She goes, "Well, give them back to me." Not a, she never turned us in or anything. Damn. So you basically learned. Yeah, like Brett said, stitches. we both had collateral. Damn. Yeah, collateral. Psychology. Wow. But I told her, I said, I'll never do that again. And I, I never did it. I was in the ninth grade then, so. Wow. She learned from the other teacher, don't hit you, or else you're going to get that upper upper pussy punch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Teachers talk. <laughs> Teachers, Teachers talk. Be talk. Oh, if you ever catch Alan with your cigarettes in the bathroom, <laughs> don't go at him. Teachers <laughs> really do talk. I remember in preschool, my teachers were talking about fucking. And when I was three years old, I remember them. Because they think you're not going to remember it or know what they're talking or about. Or no, but I knew. Wow. What were they saying? Just even like I remember like somebody was cheating. Uh, the husband was cheating on somebody and was some other chick fucking her. And I remember they didn't say fucking, yeah. but I could hear them whispering. And I was just acting like <laughs> like a, a fucking dumbass. You but were three years old. Yeah. Wow. I was lurking and hearing. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling in, honeys. Thank you. Hi, honeys. Uh, Storyteller here, or story time here. Um, I've got a crazy neighbor, and recently she said some things that have rubbed my boyfriend and I the wrong way, and um, we just don't know what to do about it. So basically, she told me that I've been gaining some weight lately, and she was wondering why. And then she also asked my boyfriend um, why he takes prescription medication for his ADHD and asked for his doctor's name so she could get into contact with him. (laughs) So any advice on what to do there? I love you guys so much. (laughs) Bye. Yeah. Tell her to shut the fuck up and mind her own fucking business. I'd get a new friend. That's their neighbor. Oh, I'd get a new neighbor. I'm not even I'd kidding. I would say that word for word. Why mm-hmm. have you been gaining weight? Why won't you shut the fuck up, bitch? That's literally what I would say. To that one, yes. And for both, I'd say. Once? I'd say get. The dude's doctor. What the? For what? Do people. Or two people need to mind their own business. Stay in your own lane. That is mind blowing to me. I would literally say, mind your fucking business. I'm speechless. That that, that is fuck, li- yeah. That's literally my advice. Why the question? That's why you been gaining weight? Uh, there could be uh, a plethora of things. Why you asking? I know. Alan, what do you think about people that don't mind their own business? I don't pay attention to them. Yeah. Because I know whatever comes out of their mouth is. Yeah. Is fueling on the earth. I mean, heck, you know, it's <sighs> it's, it's just a people don't bother me. I mean, you know, when you're seventy seven, yeah, turning, you, yeah, you don't give a fuck. You don't give you don't give a fuck about yeah. anything. You know, it's just life. Yeah. And you love living life because I'm retired and all that stuff. So. Yeah, I yeah. you know, and I have I have a friend who's very <clears throat> big. Yeah, sort of like sick. weight wise. Yes. Okay. My dad helps take care of him. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's very nice of you. God bless him. Yeah, that's and, very and nice I, of you. But I love teasing him. Yeah. Oh, you got <laughs> you got as long as he can take it, you yeah. got to. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But, I love <sighs> a teasing friendship. Oh, yeah. That's why, like... We're always teasing Oh, my gosh. Everyone. That, that's, mm-hmm. like, my way of being, like... I, don't, I can't explain it. Like, I love you. And I thought most all people did that until we started the podcast. And people were like, you're being mean to Brett. <laughs> I can't believe you said this to Bob. I'm like, you should hear what we say off the podcast. 
Yeah. They wouldn't even. No, I love like just you know like how we Fucking were just like around. fuck you you know like mm-hmm. I just <laughs> love it. You. I love it so. Yeah, yeah, that's our way of communicating for 100%, sure. Hundred percent. But I would literally. Literally, you're going to have to, like, get serious and say, mind your own fucking business, lady. It doesn't matter how well you know her, if y'all are close, if you're not. Dude, I don't care. Mind your fucking business with a smile on your face. And I wouldn't tell her any no. anything because how no. would she even know the medication thing? I would just not even. No. Wow. Yeah. Dude. Oh my Keep gosh! Keep your distance from her. Big time, sure. big time. And thank you for calling in with that. We haven't. I don't think we've had a question like that before. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, that's a good one. Thing. Hey, honeys, would you rather hear? Ooh. So let's say Libby is kidnapped. Would you rather lick Beth's stinky pussy or eat Brett's butthole to save her? Dying to know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well. Oh. Go ahead. Well, I already licked Brett's asshole, so I guess I'll just stick with that. Just stick with it because it wasn't that bad. And Brett keeps his asshole clean. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does have a pussy lips on his butthole, but you keep those crevices clean. That's why I got it, probably. Wiping so hard, I think. Right. He wipes his asshole all day long. We'll just be sitting there, and he's like, oh, I need to go wipe my asshole. We'll be at target and he'll say oh i need to go wipe my asshole he just likes filling his <sighs> asshole i think with the toilet paper that's why i love real toilet paper so much well why do you do you, does it feel dirty does it feel wet or do you just like the feeling of doing it we well, you know how you'll you know go uh, number two and yeah and you'll wipe it up and then sure you know it's always nice to go back maybe a couple hours later just to kind of re-residue hmm to re up, but if you okay, if you got everything at the first time, yeah, hmm. but it kind of you know, a little sweat builds okay, up, okay. So, like, know, so, like, yeah. musty, you're, you're clean. There's still some extra stuff you can get, so you really keep your butthole clean, yeah. I try mm-hmm. to, Beth. How often a day do you clean your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> she, I don't think she's freshening up. Are you freshening up every two hours? Uh, I've actually shortened it to an hour 45. All right, well, I'm gonna go with Brett's butthole. Yeah. I'm going to go with Brett's butthole. He cares more about hygiene. Yes. Yes. Well, and the pussy lips, that, that was just because I took a big dump earlier, remember? Brett, Amanda? you have pussy lips on your butthole. I've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I've literally seen st- your butthole spread open, and there's pussy lips on there. Ooh. I still need to do a probably a daily butthole yeah. thick thing. Alan, have did you know that Brett has pussy lips on his butthole? I'd rather not know that. <laughs> but uh, Have you ever seen his butthole? I never want to see his butthole, but uh, I can show him. Yeah, Brett yeah. shows everybody. If you want to see it, he'll show you. I just didn't know if you've heard us if you've heard us talking about the bacon lips, the bacon lip butthole. You never heard us talk about that. No. Okay. Well, now you know. You um, learned something new. Now you know. There's a lot of things I just tune out. Yeah, for sure. And bacon lip butthole <laughs> is one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely one of them. Definitely one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. Oh gosh, that's funny. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Gosh, the would you rather's I love so much. Thank you for calling in. Love. Thank you. Do you struggle finding technology that actually looks good in your home? Because we did until we discovered Aura. Named the best digital photo frame by Wirecutter, New York Mag, and more. Aura Frames make the easiest gifts for all the occasions coming up on your calendar and the perfect additions to your home too. Every Aura Frame is thoughtfully designed for your home decor style with premium touches like stone-inspired textures, hand-speckled finishes, and plastic matting. Simply connect to Wi-Fi and use the free Aura app to add unlimited pics and videos from anywhere in the world. With no fees ever. With wedding season and Mother's Day on the horizon, Aura's here with some gifting pro tips. If you have made any memories with a loved one or a special person in your life and you want to give them a good gift, you can preload all the photos you two have taken together and you can gift them the gift that keeps on giving. And if you are gifting multiple frames, you can share pics to their frames 
all in one click. With over 3 million users, it's safe to say that Aura Magic is very real. No cap. Right now, listeners can take advantage with Aura's best-selling Carver frames at their lowest prices yet this time of year at only $149. Just go to AuraFrames.com. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com. Aura is also offering listeners free shipping with code BUYROLL at checkout. This is one gift everyone will be obsessed with. Terms and conditions apply. Hey guys, big fan here. Just want to say that I love you. Anyways, I just need to tell you a story. Um, so last night, me and my boyfriend were like fucking and um, he went down on me and like we've been together for a super long time. So we have like our usual routine. We know each other super well. Anyways, he was going down on me and he kept reaching down I was like oh I wonder like if he's okay like reaching towards his junk so anyways um like I get off and I finish and then um he goes to the bathroom really quick to like wash off because we tried like uh fucking for a little while and like he just wasn't coming and like I know when he usually comes so I'm like go (laughs) go wash your dick off so I can fuck it. Anyways, so he did that, and I'm like, why isn't he coming? So I looked down on the ground, and there was already cum there. And so he was purposely hiding it from me that he already came when he was going down on me. (sighs) Anyways, I'm like, why did he even, like, lie to me? And I didn't say anything because I didn't want to embarrass him. But I'm like, we've been together for so long. Like, why did he hide that from me? And then I felt really bad, like, if it was something that I've done in the past. <sighs> Anyways, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just leave it alone? Or do you guys know, he, like, your couple spouse really well? Would you think that's weird? <sighs> Anyways, I just felt a little bit weird about it. Um but I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I love, listen to the pod religiously. Um, you guys are fucking awesome. And yeah, thanks guys. I hope this makes it on the pod. Hey, honey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I just can't imagine hiding a nut. That would be hard. It's a hard thing to hide because it's liquid. Yeah, and you're hiding it. You must have thick some, cum. Some thick cum. I've never, so what I think this is weird, yeah, because I, why not just say, hey, I came, but I'm going to finish you off. Well, do you think he was just jacking off while we yeah. Okay. He was probably jacking off, or maybe he was like, cl- I don't and know. He just couldn't stop fucking jacking off. Yeah, which is cool that he could jack off to eating your pussy. That's great. Mm-hmm. That, That's kill, a cool kill dude. two birds with one stone. That's a cool dude. Now, if he was, I wouldn't say anything. I would leave it alone for sure. I would if Greg did this. I wouldn't give, I you know, would leave it alone. Now, if he's jacking off and hiding his nut every mm-hmm. sexual encounter, that'd be weird. Start questioning it for yeah. sure. Yeah, because how are you going to bring it up weeks later? Hey, yeah. remember when you hid your cum? <laughs> right. Or I'd be like, hey, why are you hiding things from me? <laughs> he's like, no, I didn't delete any text messages. I'm like, no, no your cum. Your cum that you've been hiding. <laughs> I've been finding it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been finding it. <laughs> So he's hiding it and then just leaving it there? It crusted. In. Oh, God. Crusty cum. Ooh, Alan, God, have you... you <laughs> hey, Alan, have you ever ha- hid your cum? Have you ever hid a nut? Uh, no, because I have a condition. It's called premature ejaculation. <laughs> All right. And so uh, I get so excited, bef- you know, I mean, because oh, nothing finer on this earth than a fem- female body yeah. and i get so excited that sometimes uh i come prematurely sure so i have to hurry it? up and put i have to hurry up and put it in there so i can get finish. A, get a couple pumps yeah yeah yeah, get a- <laughs> yeah you get- but, no but you know but then i keep going but you would I never get- you oh, would well, never cool. he n- says he can just keep going hell yeah yeah I just but you going. would never nut somewhere and hide it and no, not no, let it- no. 
You're right. Why do that? Yeah. Right. Well, Brett, no. what about you? It's a game outside the game. Uh, no, I, I like to share my nuts. <laughs> kind of. Well, that's part of the fun is sharing yeah. them. Yeah. You can't be hiding them. Just say I enjoyed eating your pussy so much. I just, yeah. I came. That's that's what I'm saying. She and would have been mad at that. And you'd be like, cool. Now I you, don't even have to deal with it. She yeah. wouldn't have been mad at that, I don't think. <laughs> um, But she's like, what should I do? I wouldn't say anything. I would let it go. That's very nice of you that you didn't say anything to him that day because you knew he would have been embarrassed. That's really sweet of you. Um, And he also probably didn't want to make her feel, I don't know. To just hide it? I feel like he was being kind of sweet in a way. Yeah. He was very sweet. Yeah. Hiding his nuts. She probably. Heidi. That's kind of. She has pretty pussy, bro. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's kind of romantic. If you have yeah. to hide your nut, she's got a pretty <laughs> pussy. And, hey, that reminds me. Alan, everyone is wanting to know. Oh I've boy. got this question so many times when they found out you're coming on the pod. Do you still have. The picture of my pussy. Uh, I, no, because I was embarrassed. Too many people were asking me, and okay. I was so embarrassed, I just took it off my phone. Okay, that's great. We yeah, just wanted to know. They, they go, Why? They, yeah. Then they sent it to me, and then they, they sent me all kinds of pictures of theirs, but Facebook blocked them. So the, peop- rock, so the rock fuckers were trying to get you to send them. And he was the- too tempted. He was yeah, going to press send, actually, probably. They wanted, they wanted to see it. They were holding him for I ransom. Know, They're I like, $5,000. They, yeah, then they go, how is it? I go, it's beautiful. What do you think? <laughs> oh. I, oh. Didn't, I didn't think that they would do it. That's funny. I never thought about them asking Alan for the picture. Dad, you could have made some fucking money. <laughs> go to your archives and re-put that thing back in but your you had it. you had it on your phone for a, a little bit, right? Before yes. that? Would you go look at it on occasion? Uh. I uh, know. Okay. Uh, what, once was like you know enough, and I, I really admired it. So you get too you know, excited. I, I, he has a photographic I, I put memory. It the, you put it. In the, you put it in the jack bank. Oh, <laughs> in your head. The vault. That's God, that's <laughs> great. The jack the bank. That's the jack great. bank. This is a great little conversation we're having. <laughs> uh, it's, you know. Yeah. It's it's just about life. I mean, it, this that's is, what I love about this podcast, you guys. You talk about life. You you don't you don't spare no pull no punches and people need to hear that. Yeah, oh, for sure. People they, need to hear it. They need to hear your podcast. Thanks, That's Dad. what I tell all my friends. I appreciate that. But then that. I say don't don't look at fifteen. I tell them, and that and that screws up. Like, <laughs> are you on episode fifteen? <laughs> he just gaslit. Wow. And I, I go whatever you do. Don't watch 15. I go, if you really like me, don't watch 15. So what's the first thing they do? Watch 15. Mm-hmm. And then I only kind of got one uh, out of all or one whatever. One little conversation. Only one person that kind of. Uh, Negative. Uh, one lady that kind of said, ah, you know, but she is older. Oh, she's Dad, beautiful. you just, you can't make everybody happy. So yeah. No. No. But now she came back around. So she's we're friends again. Oh my! So you knew her in real life? Yeah, in real life. Got upset about the pod. And and I was yeah, and I was interested in her. Nah, she needs to chill. Yeah, no, I know. No, you she's can't. Doing the takeaway. You maybe. can't be with a woman that for you as as awesome as you are. You can't be with a woman that's going to hold you back from having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Can you imagine Alan with someone who gets mad at because he's on a pot? Hell no. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. That was enough. But like I said, all of a sudden she's coming back around and saying, hey. <laughs> Wanting it. Yeah. Wanting it. <laughs> now, Wanting that it. now that you're famous. <laughs> Wanting it now that you're famous. <laughs> well, well Alan, we appreciate your support on the podcast. We love you. Thank you for... Thank you Listening. for having us. Oh. And thank you for loving the rock fuckers. And oh, yeah. I, you know, come on, family. Yeah. There's nothing like family. Nothing oh, no. like family. Nothing. nothing like family. Wow. Wow. Can't believe I came out of that wiener. You did. I love it. I'm so glad you did. Oh, they wanted a wiener update, too. Yes, give them a wiener update. Yeah. A wiener update? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's healed Good. And, and back to normal. Completely. Completely. You can nut fine. I can nut fine. Piss fine. Piss fine. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, you got your dickhead caught in zippers, and Paige had to help you get it out. Yes, that was just 
very painful experience. It yeah. was stuck for probably, th- what would you say, 20 plus minutes? At least. Well, I'm glad you're back to normal and feeling good. Oh, thank you so much. You know, because can you, can you imagine if that did some damage and you could never nut again? Well, yeah. Well, if the thing, the thing is, if we would have called 911, I probably would have never nutted again, you know. They would have cut it off. <laughs> we got to cut this part off yeah. right here. It's too big. Yeah. I just got some oil. Done. Wow. No. Done with it. Well, I remember I had to cut the, take the whole zipper apart. <sighs> it's the only way I can get it out of there. I had a, We cut a big hole out of the pants, so all I was left was just the zipper. <laughs> and cut all around the zipper. We need to slap that zipper on eBay. I know. <laughs> There's probably some skin in it. You know what's funny? They were asking me if on the cruise, if we want to have like a little museum of stuff, like the Tammy shorts, the, you know, st- I don't. Like I, memorabilia? Yeah, I don't know if this is going to happen, but if we do do this, we have to have the pants in there. Do you there. still have the zipper? Damn. Oh, man. Okay, that well, would be good. I could, um, is it going to be an auction? No, it'll just be so people can go in and see it. Okay, cool. I'll bring the branch that went into my arm. You have it? Mm-hmm. Why don't we do an auction? The thing is with it, it's drying up, so it's getting smaller and smaller. Oh. How do I preserve it? Should I put it in some resin? I don't know. It's a piece of wood, so that's right. Like, it would get, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would get some stain or <laughs> like a, lacquer, you know yes. what I mean? Yeah, like, and it will stop shrinking. Yeah. Like for your deck. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Okay. I'll well, do that. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that call. Thank you. Last question. Last call. Here oh, we go. So sad. Hey, honeys. Cleaning myself up here. So, um, before y'all started y'all's podcast, I was kind of going through a lot emotionally with my family, dealing with all that. Like, just a side of my family had to cut off to just some things happening in my personal life with my mental health. And, I really started feeling bad most of the time, actually. Um, And I always turn to, like, Chelsea's mukbangs, whether she's with Crystal or Jem, or I also watch Paige's following videos, and they always really helped me. And so when I heard that y'all were making a podcast together, I jumped to it. And I've been following a lot of y'all's tips about keeping a healthy mindset. Um, I started writing down positive affirmations every morning, and I've now started staying cleaner. Um, Recently, I've just been on a really big cleaning kick, and it's all because, like, Chelsea, Paige, Brent, Maggie, Beth, y'all talked about um, cleaning and how, like, it makes y'all feel. And I just took that to heart, and I tried it, and it really worked. And, yeah, uh, I just want to say that. Thank you, honey. Oh, yeah. Aww. That is so nice. You're so sweet. That is and so sweet. Damn, Thank you, that dude, made me almost tear up. It's like we we forget. Some, all, we talk about this all the time, Paige. We forget. We just come in here and just talk. And I'm so thankful, though, that that yeah. could yes. do a difference and make somebody, you know, change know. somebody's life a little bit or make them smile. or Just make them means, smile. Yeah, it means the world. And... I I couldn't imagine not having a podcast. I know. I love how on the road I'll have people come up to me at meet and greets and they're like, oh, like we look forward to Tuesdays. I'm like, that just so, it's so nice. Like, and I'm glad you're doing well, honeys. I'm glad you're doing those things. That is awesome. You positive motherfucker. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, what a way to end the pod. Uh, Before we go, I would like to announce, you guys, I am on tour this week. I'll be in Springfield, Missouri. Columbia, Missouri. I think those are sold out, but go double check. Evansville, Indiana, and Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Go to eatmytrash.com for tickets. What What about Rockfucker? Oh, my God! (laughs) We're like, ma'am, Rockfucker of the Week here. Listen. Do I'm you not. not gonna, have one? I don't have one right now, so I'll be back Dude. next week for a rock fucker of the week. Let, you should just go find a quick one. All right, let's do Here, it. Here, l- go scroll. All right, I'm gonna go scroll. Give me a second. I'm scrolling. You guys caught me off guard. Holy oh shit! Caught me off guard. Here we go. Jack off. Can you tell me? Ah, <laughs> Jack. Let's go with one of the top 
Let's do it with one of the top comments on the latest Instagram promo. Jesse Jane. <gasps> Jesse Jane. <laughs> you are rock fucker of the week, honeys. Maggie will reach out and get you some merch. Thank you for commenting. And thank you all for joining our slits onlys and our... We appreciate you. We're, we're, yeah, join us on our slits onlys on pages OF and my Patreon. And Alan, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You can go to my dad's Instagram at Alan Jen. Mm -hmm. You post on there. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. After this podcast, I tell, uh, oh, my friend at home that I'm going to start posting more on everything. Good. That'd yeah, be great. Because more more on all the whatever these social media sites are. Good, because we're trying to take over the world, so we need all the That's spreadings right. we can have. Changing the world. We're mm -hmm. trying to take over the world, so if you would yeah. post more, that'd be great for us. That would help us. Yeah, one one person at a time. Right. Because yeah, I have, like, you know, a lot of, like, old-timers. Yeah. That uh, really don't know how to take you guys. I mean, they went to school with me. They're well, 77 years better. old. They're yeah. 70, you know, and their mind's... Oh, excuse me. Their <laughs> minds, their minds haven't evolved into the twenty twenty three. I mean, it's, they're, it's, it, we're stuck back in the sixties or in the fifties. Well, they're and, boomers. And back then, you couldn't say the things we say. Yeah, exactly. So they yeah. they are still in that mindset, like you can't say things. Yes, you can. They're not going. Oh, fuck me, yeah. daddy. <laughs> fuck <Yeah>. me. <laughs> but, <laughs> they're not. But, but you know they're what? Not doing I, that. I I know I'm changing their minds one at a time. Good. Because all of a sudden they go, hey, you know. You know, Alan, you're getting older, mm. but you refuse to grow up. Don't ever grow up. That's I love a it. That's a mistake. I love it. Yeah, we're trying to change people's minds, too, sometimes. Exactly. If they need it. Right, if they need it. But there's a lot of people like us, Alan, who listen to this pod. Oh, yeah, naturally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we thank each and every one of you. And if you have any calls, are we ending this sucker? Yeah, that's, a, right. that's it, my man. Dad, do you know our phone number? Do I? Yeah. Do you know the podcast phone number? Uh, no. Okay, okay, well, what do you think people should call in about to ask to whatever? Yeah, uh, on all my social media. No, huh? what do you, no, what, what do you think people should call our podcast and sit and talk about? Like, one thing. Oh. What, oh, what do I think they should talk about? Yeah. I, may sound strange, but, uh. I wonder if they, if anybody has, you know, I'm 77. If anybody has like a perception of like life after death or whatever Ooh. they, whatever they, you know, when you get older, you're going to start thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I even and, think about it now. I think, oh, yeah. Amen. But it's like, uh, you know, what do people think? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's a good, a good one. About a, that's a, a good topic. And, and a lot of it goes on religion. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. You know, and it's a. Uh, Anything under the sun. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, Buddhists, Buddhists think of reincarnation. Yeah. You know, believe in reincarnation. Whatever they believe, I mm -hmm. can care less. Yeah. I mean, like, God bless them that they believe in something. Yeah. And, I like that. You know, oh, I have a, if I could add this, uh, something very interesting. There's a oh group. Oh, boy. What is it? it? <laughs> <laughs> There's a group in uh, Nigeria. Mm-hmm. They're regular people. They're they're like vigil vigilantes, but the terrorists have been going to their villages and stealing the, the young women, you know, naturally, yeah. and killing men and 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 then recruiting men. And you come with me and you live. And uh, the one the one of the the main characters is a woman, tough woman. They're all black, you know, naturally, and they're she's so tough. She goes, we. He goes, we're here to stop the terrorists. And she, they're all armed, you know, they're regular. And, and so they go after, they go into these villages, and they, they ask the people, where are, you know, and the people are afraid to tell them where they're camped out, you know. So they actually caught a couple of the terrorists, and she, they're going to be executed. But, it, but it, it doesn't show them being executed. Yeah. But they show them interrogating them, you know. And, and so this one... This one, um, one of the uh, captors says, uh, "Oh, I believe you know. I believe I'm a Muslim," and the and the lady commander goes, "You're not a Muslim, because if you were, you wouldn't be killing." Mm. Now, ooh, and I thought about that. 
Was this a documentary well, or a TV show? Yeah, it's or a documentary. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's I would, unbelievable. I would, no. She goes, hell? if you were a Muslim, you wouldn't be killing people. This Whoa. was the most. Wow, that's deep. That is heavy. That was This heavy. is the most random way to end the podcast. Yeah, that, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. That's wild. You had me tripping, boy. I know, me too. <laughs> well, well, give, give us, us a call. call Four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dad. Love you. Get ready. We're going viral.